Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you how to run Windows 8, the developer preview, in the newly released VMware Workstation 8. So when you are downloading Windows developer preview from devs.microsoft.com, you will get a fairly large ISO file, uh, nearly 4 gigabytes. And if you want to try it out on a laptop or some hardware, it may be blue screening or it may be not compatible with the hardware you are offering Windows. So I think the easiest way to evaluate this new release of Windows 8 is to put it in a virtual machine. Uh, what I did is that I created a virtual machine and when you are choosing uh, the type of OS for your virtual machine um, in Workstation 8 I didn't see Windows 8 available so what I did is that I went for Windows 7 and I configured the virtual machine with 2 gigabytes of memory, 2 CPUs, a disk of 60 gigabytes and um, I connected to the CD of my virtual machine to the ISO I've downloaded at Microsoft and the ISO can be found on devs.microsoft.com and the ISO is right here on my, uh, on my D drive so it's it's fairly big but it's the developer edition and everything is in it and it's real cool and let's see how big it is and after connecting the ISO to the virtual machine and powering on the virtual machine it will take I think 20 or 30 minutes before eventually the, the whole Windows is installed it's over 4 gigabytes nearly 5 gigabytes and um, one other thing you have to keep in mind is that you give it uh, enough CPU enough uh, memory um, when you are, want to configure the network adapter of this machine and you want to go into the advanced settings in workstation 8 you can click the advanced button right here and uh, you can also go to LAN segments to configure the global LAN segments so um, the virtual machine is up and running the display is even offering 3D graphics and there's even a sound card uh, available for my Windows machine so I actually have sound from Windows 8 out of my speakers and uh, one last thing you have to do and I didn't succeed uh, the first time and that was installing the VMware tools in the virtual machine so eventually what I did was that I went to the settings of this virtual machine and then I connected the ISO by hand and the ISO with the VMware tools can be found in the C program files uh, VMware uh, workstation directory and when you connect it by hand Windows will pick it up and it will show that an ISO is connected and then it will offer you to install the VMware tools so that's the last part I did this evening uh, let's see where the VMware tools are it's the Windows ISO and you can easily connect it and the 64-bit drivers are available on there so that's actually what I did a few minutes ago and then I restarted this virtual machine and this is the new the new desktop of uh, of Microsoft and you have to log on and you can even use your live ID from uh, from uh, Microsoft so in this case I'm using my own email address and own password to log on to my uh, Windows to the Windows 8 server and I even got a notification that a trusted computer was added to my profile that's cool this is a shell a shell uh, around the normal Explorer we know uh, as of today in Windows 95 and Windows 2003 and Windows XP and all the versions of Windows had the Explorer as their shell but they created a new shell around Windows and this new shell oh okay this new shell uh, yeah, is more suitable for uh, for handheld devices I think so uh, you can use this on tablets or phones or it's more you will see some 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 frames some tiles so they went from windows to tiles and you can access your rss feeds your email your youtube videos everything will be presented in tiles and this uh, developer edition also has a complete visual studio installed which enables you to create your own uh, tiles within uh, Windows. Let's see if it wants to log on. 
So after uh, logging on, uh, you will see the tiles. One cool thing about VMware Workstation 8 is that it's really awesome. On the left side here, you can connect your ESX servers and vCenter server. And you can even take over the screen of a virtual machine running on an ESX host. But you can also connect uh, other workstations running VMware Workstation 8. So it doesn't matter where your virtual machines are running, just uh, you can just access the, uh, the complete uh, screen right here and uh, you can uh, also access other instances of workstation running on laptops or workstations or whatever. So back to Windows 8, I think it will be, will have succeeded now with logging on. I see a black screen. Hello. It should present the tiles windows in a few seconds. And then you can uh, explore the new features of Windows 8. I keep it here. I leave it up to you to explore all the new features. Have fun with it. And uh, I'll be back with more cool videos. Eric Sluvis signing off. See you back.